Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to an episode of Selling Nashville. I'm your host, Andy Hunt. I'm hanging out with Gary Barron. He is the founder and owner of the Nashville Jam Company. Um, thanks for hanging out with us today. I gotta, I gotta wonder, how'd you come up with the name? <laughs> well, you know, I'm from Nashville yeah. and I make jam, so. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> there it is. So um, why jam? Why'd you get started making jams? Well, I was in my mom's house. Um, and she had a jar of strawberry jalapeno jam sitting on her counter. And I tried it and it was divine. And I was like, you know, I think I could sell this. So we took it to some farmer's markets and it sold like crazy. We added some other flavors and then we started selling to grocery stores and hotels. And you guys ship all over the US. We ship all over the country. And then, and then if you go on our website, we'll ship it anywhere in the world. Now you mentioned jelly and jam. What's the difference between jelly and jam? I get asked that a lot, and it is, jelly is just fruit juice um, with the addition of, of sugar and pectin or something, and that's why it's clear and you can see through it. Jay, I'm thinking about if we packed this full of fruit and we just jammed it on in there, yep. that's the difference. Um, so this is whole fruit, sugar, lemon juice, and pectin. So there's, there's a lot of fruit inside that jar. Is it good? It's really good. Prove it. <laughs> I'll take that bet. <laughs> okay, I love strawberries, I love jalapenos, so let's see it combined. I can smell the jalapeno. Oh, that is good. <laughs> like, yeah, I know, thanks. <laughs> That's really good. This is fantastic. Can we go see where this is made? Yes, let's do that right now. We're going to head to the factory. We'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so now we are back at the factory. This is where the magic happens. Uh, first thing I noticed, it looks exactly like my kitchen. Right. Well, there's some really kind of specialized equipment yeah. for the manufacturing of jam, jelly, sauces, and kind of shelf-stable products. And it's going to start with these kettles right here. This is where the raw ingredient goes and it's cooked to a certain temperature as long as it's a cooked product. We do do some things that are not cooked, uh, mayonnaise based stuff because it would break. Okay. But the majority of the stuff we do are heated to about 200 degrees before they go into a jar. So all those jams that we tasted started here. They started right here okay. or right here. And what happens, this is a big uh, mixer. So it helps mix everything up. There's an immersion blender that kind of helps grind some stuff up. And then it's going to run through this hose into this depositor. Now, how many people will man this station on a slow day to a busy day? What's the, what's the man? So power? generally, um, we're going to have a couple people at that end. One's going to be filling, one's going to be capping. The machines are going to be doing their thing. And then somebody's going to be taking them and putting them on a cart. And once they're rolled in here, they'll be loaded onto this conveyor. And this conveyor is a labeling machine. Um, so we'll put the product on there, it will go down, and then everything's packaged into these boxes that you see here. Okay. Labels applied, so we know it's inside. Okay, the first thing I notice is these things are hot. Well, they're filled at 200 degrees, and that is to sterilize and sanitize the jars. Any microbe that may be living in there can't survive. And when it's filled hot, that product is expanded and as it cools, it contracts, and that draws a vacuum, which seals the lid. That's the pop you hear when you crack a jar. And so these are for me to take home, is that right? Little... Yeah, have at it. Why not, right? <laughs> right that's right. <laughs> Gary, thanks so much for having us today. We've had a great time. This has been a jam. I hope you guys head out to the shelves, find these, and do yourself a favor and spread the good word. We'll see you next time. <laughs>